Welcome to this brief demonstration on the bulk deletion of ITL files from Cisco phones. Cisco has introduced security by default functionality with the release of Call Manager 8. As part of that, there is additional considerations when managing certificates on Cisco phones. This could be taken care of with uh, migrating certificates from the old to the new TFTP servers, etc. However, there are situations when the deletion of the ITL file within the handset is the best approach. In order to do that, it's required to make setting changes directly on the handset. This can be something that's complex and time consuming if it had to be done manually. However, using PhoneView, it's possible to achieve all of this remotely in a matter of minutes. We begin by selecting the phones that we wish to work with. And the first thing to do is to gather device information from those phones. And what that will do is pull the ITL status. So we can see, in this case, there's actually six devices with a trust list update field. If I click that checkbox, we can filter down to just those devices. However, we'll take that off so that we can actually show that when you perform actions, it will only perform the appropriate actions to the models, including devices that don't have trust lists, etc. So I'll select all the devices again. Now, normally, you would perform something like a hard reset to get the phones to a known state. By that, that means that the settings menu on the phone is, either, is in a locked condition. So therefore, uh, the first action you would perform is an unlock sequence. So these phones are locked already, so let's perform that. So we click the unlock and then take a screenshot. And we'll see in a few seconds that that will refresh and that the padlock is open on the models that that relates to. Okay, so now that we have unlocked the appropriate phones, we can now delete the ITL file. And we've reduced this down to a single mouse click. So if we click ITL, and I'm going to take a, a screenshot immediately afterwards. So that will expand the key presses per model uh, as appropriate and uh, perform that action on the relevant device. And once the key sequence is finished, because we added a, a screenshot command effectively to the end of the queue, it takes a, a, a kind of snapshot effectively of the, the phone state. So we can see that the ITL files have all been erased from the appropriate phone models. Nothing's happened to the 6900 series phones because they don't actually have ITL files to be removed. So we can now refresh the screen information and we can see that uh, most of the devices should have uh, registered by now. And likewise, we can now refresh the device information. So by clicking on the device info button, and if we look on the left here, we can now see that the ITL has been installed, our trust list has been updated. So if I click that checkbox, we can see the 9900 series. We'll just refresh that so we can see the phones back online and registered at some stage. And likewise, if we click ITL installed, that relates to the message for these phones. So we've effectively corrected the ITL issue for all these handsets. This is just one of many examples of how PhoneView can be used to reduce the cost and effort required in making changes and managing large phone estates. Please visit our website to find out more and download your own copy of PhoneView to explore further.